safety concerns may pack the house at tonight's Sycamore Township trustees meeting. They are considering outsourcing the fire department. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live with the reason behind the move and reaction to it. Tom? Well, Carol, this RFP request for proposal went out this week seeking another government agency or a private firm to run the fire department. Now, it's only exploratory at this point because Sycamore Township is bracing for the elimination of Ohio's estate tax and deep cuts in the local government fund. But still, this document is causing quite a buzz in this community. News of the possible outsourcing didn't sit well with firefighters like Eric Hardesty, Secretary of Firefighters Local 3907. Trustees approved seeking bids at their Tuesday workshop meeting. We were completely blindsided by the RFP. The fire department currently has 28 full-time and over 85 part-time firefighters. The budget is $4.8 million a year to staff two firehouses 24-7. However, Trustees President Tom Weedman says that can't continue since the township will lose $3 million in estate taxes next year. That means half the general fund will disappear, leaving a big hole in the fire department budget. We have a $1.5 million gap that we have to fix. Uh, unfortunately, we don't print money, so we've got, to, we've got to find a way to make cuts. Firefighters know the fiscal future is murky, but say they're trying to come up with ways to help cut the budget and keep the current department intact. We don't want politics to play a role in any of this. We just want it to be about the safety of the residents. Some might wonder if this is a case of the township trying to save money by eliminating the union. I don't want to say that it's a union busting tactic. I believe that the township needs to balance its budget. We want to help them balance its budget and, and do what's right for the citizens. This is not anti-union. This is pro-taxpayer. So right now the goals of the township and firefighters appear to be the same, but there's disagreement on how to reach them. I think every resident would agree that if we can get equal to or better service than we have now at a much less price, we're, I'm sure they would be as interested as we are. Now those proposals are due on February 29th. The township could accept one, reject them all, and doesn't necessarily have to take the lowest bidder. Of course, Sycamore Township, as we're all aware, is not alone in this. All Ohio townships and many municipalities are struggling right now with deep cuts and possible more even deeper cuts because of basic services and no money to pay for them, Carolyn Clyde. These are definitely mm -hmm. tough times. Tom McKee, mm -hmm. live from Sycamore Township.